Hey gang, Jack Lair here. Uh, just doing a pickups video. Going to cover the first half of July. Uh, I am actually heading down to uh, Texas. So I'm going to be around my old stomping ground. Uh, going to do hopefully some good video down there because there are a lot of places down there that uh, I used to frequent. Hopefully they're still there and still have functions. I also have a really good surprise coming. <coughs> now, um, I'm a big reader. So one of the things I did is I walked into a Salvation Army and they had all of these. These are Forgotten Realms books uh, and I believe one that's just Dungeons and Dragons. Yes. And some of these I've read before, uh, but I haven't read them in eight years or so. So I decided to give them another shot, uh, reread them. Uh, also found this little guy. This is a, a little pocket Tetris. Uh, it plays the music and everything, so it's actually a nice thing to have in the car because I am going to be I am going to be bringing my Game Boy. I'm still trying to make my way through uh, Pokemon Yellow, uh, and I'm not doing the glitches. So and then I took a break, and now I forgot where I am. But uh, this is actually really cool. Uh, it's made by Radica, and, and if you can get a hold of one, I recommend doing it. I think I picked it up for 99 cents or so, and uh, my son picked it up while we were in a car ride, and he just played it for, I don't know, half an hour or so on the, the ride. Uh, also, uh, 99 cents, High School Musical for the DS. Don't really know why. Probably more just for the case than anything. Um, also picked up uh, an Xbox 360 Afterglow controller. Uh, it does not have it does not have the N, but I think I'm probably going to use this for uh, a USB for my computer, anyways. So I really don't mind cutting the cable and rewiring it. Uh, that was a dollar ninety nine. And uh, I've been watching um, a lot of lazy game reviews. And one of the things that he keep mentions when he goes out hunting is to look in the uh, the board game category in stores. And it paid off. This is where in the USA is Carmen San Diego. Not quite as uh, catchy of a song, uh, but it's uh, really cool. It has all kinds of stuff in here. And uh, it it's complete, and I believe it has like two or three extra discs in here. Not really sure why. And at the same place, I found this, and I haven't been able, I haven't done much research on it, but it is Marcon or Marcon One, fighting for truth and justice, and it looks like an anime that was released on. The, the Just for Kids, which I believe is the same thing that uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles came out on. So I look forward to doing a little bit of research into this and figuring it out. Speaking of research, I bought this, which is Crash and Burn Pinball, and it actually looks pretty cool, but there's this you can't read this down here, but I'll get a close-up of it. Uh, and it says down here that due to the Longshoreman's strike in the West Coast, we are unable to receive shipment of the product listed above in a timely manner, which is a Lighthouse Wind Chime Sub 3. Um, listed above in a timely manner. In order to help support the organization that sold you this product, we offer this substitution of much greater value. We appreciate your understanding in this understanding. Get the boring stuff out of the way. I uh, found, I hate it when this happens, but I found the power supply and the cords for a GameCube. No GameCube in sight. I don't know. But, and I looked all over that place. Um, let's go ahead and jump to some of these. So, a lot of 
games come in CD cases, but uh, it's really cool when you find a CD that you're actually like, wow, really? And this is uh, Saturday Night Fever. This is actually the, the two-disc set. The, the, both the discs are in there. They're in really good shape, and I was kind of amazed to find something like this because normally these get snapped up real fast. Uh, also found uh, uh, In Vogue, which, uh, you know, if you know In Vogue, you get it. Uh, also, I picked this up for my wife, but it is the Reality Bites soundtrack. Uh, she loved this movie, so helped out there. Uh, some, actually only one PC game. Uh, and this is because I need to bring this down to Texas with me for reasons. Uh, but this is Command and Conquer. And it's the PC version. Also found some really bizarre things. Uh, Peter Pan in Return to Neverland. Now, the case is a little cracked, <laughs> and I have never seen this game before. But from the back, it looked like it was uh, some kind of weird platformer, even though Peter Pan can fly. Um, also got this, which I want to show to my youngest when we get a chance. This is the Wild Thornberries Animal Adventures. So the Wild Thornberries is uh, has a great cast. Uh, the father is actually done by oh I can't remember his name Tim Curry, and the the daughter is like Doctor Doolittle. She can talk to animals and they understand her, and she can talk to them back. And it once again looks like a fun little platformer. And then found this one, Area 51, which I, this finally gives me, that's weird. Well, it's going to say it gives me a reason to use my gun con, but it doesn't show that it's gun con compatible. It shows that it's mouse compatible. I didn't know there was a mouse for the PS1. So, goes to show me. And then I found this, which... I grabbed it, flipped it over, couldn't figure out what it was, did it again, but it is Spin Jam, and it just says, Puzzle, you will be, which I guess will be true. Um, but yeah, it's been a really busy little while. Uh, I found this, which is really cool, I'm going to have to do a full video on this. But this is the, uh, hi Amber, this is the Dex Drive uh, by Interact. And what this can do is this can actually, you can load and save and back up your uh, Nintendo 64 save games. And they made these for PlayStation. Yes, we hear you. And they made them for the Nintendo 64. I do not think they made them for Dreamcast. I might be wrong on that though. Okay, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's get the rest of these out of the way. Um, so, also, uh, a, another Salvation Army. Uh, I found Brats for the PlayStation. Also, found Cyclone, which is weird because it looks like a first person shooter, but it's from SSI, which I equate SSI to the gold box games. And then Duke Nukem 3D, like I said, I've been watching a lot of lazy game reviews and he does a passable John St. John impression. Uh, so snag that as well. And because I love the guidebooks, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Gold Edition which has lots of pretty pictures in it. I will flip through that at my leisure. And... Yeah. Another day found great and the PlayStation 2 game showed up. Yeah. Boom, they were there. So ATV Off-Road Fury 2, which I actually really like that one. Uh, 
Anti grab for the eye toy. I don't know if I still have an eye toy. So I need to figure out if I have one or not. And then, uh, because I found them all and the microphones, SingStar Rocks, SingStar Pop, SingStar 90s, and SingStar 80s. And I look forward to dragging my friends kicking and screaming into uh, doing some karaoke one night with those. And then, of course, the giant bag of microphones. There are actually two sets in there. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. This is something I found in a Goodwill for, I think, $2. It is a wireless G notebook card. This will become important later. And then decided that uh, I wanted a way to actually record from my point of view while I was out hunting and uh, picked up these. These are the iView... Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Which one are these? These are the Crossfire. So they do 720p, which is the same thing my camera does. Uh, they will work, they blend nicely in, and I'll be showing a little bit of footage uh, of that towards the end here so that you can get an idea of that because there's a flea market near here and I finally decided to go to it. And uh, I'm glad I did because the first guy I walked into basically said, he's like, all right, here's the deal. Uh, all, of, all of these are a quarter. He's like, I've, I've sold the ones I want online that I can get money for, and these are just the ones that don't sell. Which blew my mind when I saw them. Because these were all a quarter each. And... Advanced Dungeons and Dragons, Shadow Sorcerer, which this is uh, SSI. Once again, relating those two. It's, a drag it's got Dragonlance on the cover, but it doesn't say Dragonlance anywhere on it, which weirds me out. Um, my mom and I used to play Jumpman Jr. on the Commodore 64. By the way, that's an IBM... Uh, this one's a cassette for Commodore 64. These are kind of just mixed all over the place. Um, Robocop. This is another one for the Commodore 64. And this one's actually a diskette. Dig Dug. Which, I used to love Dig Dug. And I think a lot of it was just because that it did only play the music while you moved, so it seemed really weird to me. Because you could get silence in that game. Which most games would not shut up. Uh, this one, yeah, I just love the cover and the back. It's a Maxwell Manor microcomputer game for the Atari or Commodore 64. And it's just, I mean, he's got a dude holding a skull, smoking a pipe on the back and a guy holding the cross and a revolver on the front. So, I don't know what's going on there. Uh, Battletech. This is an Activision. This is a uh, IBM. And these are three different games, as you can see. Battletech, the Crescent Hawks Inception, Crescent Hawks Revenge, and Mech Warrior, which is the Mech Warrior, Mech Warrior 2, Mech Warrior three mech warrior command mech warrior four and then mech warrior lone wolf and mech warrior that so on and so forth um alien breed and the super bunny because of the comic inside it's play as a super rabbit A wizardry game, Bane of the Cosmic Forge. Claire. Monster Smash. Didmos. Kung Fu Master and Karate Champ. So two in one. I find it funny that it was. Anyways, it's been marked down 
ridiculously over the years. And Space Quest 2. Yes, we hear you. And this is for the IBM, the Tandy, and the MS-DOS compatible computers. And then there was one other thing there that is was kind of one of my not quite whale of gaming, but definitely one of the things that I have looked for and been unable to locate. And that is this, which this is the Super Scope 6. And there are a handful of games uh, that were, were made playable with this. And most of the time, you will never find all of the pieces. Because it had a receiver and it had... Uh, you had batteries, and it just, it was a nightmare. And as near as I can tell, everything is in here. I still need to test the functionality of it, but got that as well. And that is everything. Uh, if there are anything specific that you want to see, uh, go ahead and drop a comment down below, and I'll try and get to uh, one of these as quick as possible. Uh, keep in mind, it will be... Uh, away from most of my computing and gaming tools for the next uh, week to week and a half. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and as always, play on!